Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyander, and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. Now, I went mining, and as you can see, I made a or call him pickaxe, or chalcum, however you want to pronounce it. I got uh, three ingots left, but this is of course the stuff from last time, which I do plan to make use of some of them. However, in the meantime, I'm going to grab some redstone, and I've got, I should have enough stone on me. One of the first things we're going to make is this bad boy right here, the survivalist generator. Uh, I should have enough to make four of them. Now, I'm making four of them for good reason. Basically, they output half half a Minecraft jewel or five RF a tick. Now, that's not really sufficient to run most machines. So, with that, we need to make them capable by just increasing the number. That said, we're going to need four sides around this machine to take proper full effect of it, since we don't have a source of wiring at the moment. And I want to get the most I can out of my fuel and my machines. Now, these machines, while they may only produce power at 5 RF a tick, they will, however, run for 26 minutes on a piece of coal. Uh, I did the math, it's somewhere around 160,000 RF per piece of coal, which is quite a lot. However, I want to get some powered uh, smelting up. As you can tell, they have a sound. And if we had some gold powder and some of the other machines we needed, we could reduce the power usage further. Energy upgrades reduce the power usage, whereas speed upgrades increase the power usage but make it go faster. Now, as you can tell, this is going down, although it technically shouldn't be. It says it uses 20 R for tick, and these output 5, so it should be getting 20. I don't know why that's going down down. But it's not really going down fast enough for me to care at the moment. But, what I am going to want to do is I want to make an alloy smelter from Ender IO as quickly as possible. Oh, well, let me click on the recipes thing and throw stuff on the ground. Unfortunately, that requires a few things. Uh, first of all... I'm going to need to break this down into nuggets. I already did that once, didn't I? Maybe not. Yeah, there's nothing floating around. Okay. That said, we're also going to need four copper, plus an additional copper. Now well, that's going. We're going to put a piece of copper in the center. Oh, come on now. Nuggets there, redstone there. Now will get us a basic capacitor. Uh, waiting on that. What are you doing? Ten dust. Good. Good. I really should do something about that, considering I'm having difficulties jumping in the door. So, as you can see, I've got a pretty good supply of osmium. And as such, I'm going to make plenty of use of that. Also, I found some steel boots. And... I've been working on slowly trying to update them. Uh, I think I got the Osmium armor completed for my texture pack. I actually made it before this episode because I knew I was going to be making it. Well, at least that's the end goal, of course. Whether or not that is the end result, well, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Now, we established that I don't have enough armor to take on these things at the moment. And as such, I needed to resolve that, hence why I'm making the armor. I did this wrong, didn't I? I always do it wrong. Always in the wrong order. Let's try this again. There we go. Machine chassis. Basic capacitor. Two copper ingots, and I forget what goes on top. Oh, right, a furnace and two stone bricks. Whoops. Well, I'll just throw it on the ground, why don't I? So, I 
guess I'll make a furnace. I suppose now I can just do it this way. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the power draw on one of these is. I'm going to sit it here. And if I were to take this out for a second. The generator's making that noise? Crazy. So, once this gets filled up, the generator should start filling, except for the one that is now outputting over here. Now, these can hold up to 500,000 RF, and you can pick them up with their power in it. However, if you pick them up before the timer of the fuel runs out, you'll waste it. Now, this machine's cool. It can smell three items at a time, and it also won't lose progress, just like the mechanism machines. It won't lose its progress if it runs out of power while it's going. So if we put this in here, of course it's staying stable now, and then this isn't getting any power at all, so it's not going to move. But, what is going on here is if I were to cut power, this bar would stop. And another cool thing about these mechanism machines is if you break them, you can see that it has an inventory, true, stored energy, Basically, if I set that back down, everything's still in it, in exactly the way I found it. Uh, I can't really... Well, I can make more survivalist generators now. So, why don't I do that? It's not really optimal to be making this many, especially considering I know I'm going to be replacing them. But, this early on, I'm not overly concerned about it because a little bit of iron and some stone and a tiny bit of redstone is not going to mean much. And I planted a bunch of those trees and I just kind of sat here AFK for a while. Uh, stop what you're doing. I need this to finish because this, however, won't maintain its power and if I pick it up, those three iron that it ate are gone. So, I need to get this moving, and it's going to go very slowly. Hmm. Give it a piece of wood. That'll fuel it for five minutes. I'm not too concerned about throwing that away. That's what I meant by throwing it away. Now, I don't... I don't need a wrench, necessarily, to pick these up. It's going to be faster with a wrench, but this pick should do just fine. There we go. I'm going to move him over one, and I'm going to give him the exact same treatment. This might not be enough to run it at full speed, simply because of the one singular fact of uh, it smelting three items at once. You're a skeleton. And I've heard him for a while. I think he's trapped down in the water. I'll just do one of these. Now, if I were to put this dust in here, if it's gaining... Oh, oh it's stable. I like stable. Stable is good. Take this dust out, throw it in here. It's always good to have the iron. However, I want to get the osmium processing. Now... These have plenty of power in them now. And the way the machines work, most of these are going to keep going up, except for this one's going down, and then it'll start draining from a different machine. Uh, which one's the unlucky candidate? This one. But that shouldn't really be an issue. Our sword's good. It's still got 1,400 health left on it. So we don't need to worry about that. Plenty of pickaxe, but I do want to get the osmium armor. Not sure what the protection of osmium is compared to thomium, but uh, I've redone the armor textures since my last texture pack release, including the 1.7 release. And as such, I kind of want to show them off, because I rather like what I've done with them. But that's, of course, my personal preference. That's why texture packs are made, isn't it? Could you hurry up? How are you doing over here? That sound that you just heard 
I'd be willing to bet money that was a Moonstone Meteor. Yep, there it is. From Ars Magica. Kind of annoying. Really, they just kind of land wherever they please. Zombie. You appear to be wearing Osmium boot. You're just wearing full Osmium, aren't you? Sends the legs. Oh well. Hurry up, machines. I wish to. Well, make things. I suppose I've pretty much reached the extent of the interesting thing, so I'll be back with you once I have got the osmium all cooked up, and, well, at this point I might as well just do all of my materials, so I'll be back with you shortly. Alright, welcome back. As you can see, I haven't actually done as I said and gotten everything done, but I made manganese ore. You were split for a reason. Why did you have to recombine yourself? But uh, I made some, took some manganese ore, made some manganese dust, and iron ore, made iron dust. And if we take the two of these, throw them together, bam, steel dust. So basically you get two steel uh, at the cost of one iron dust and one manganese dust. I decided, you know what, steel provides more protection than osmium. And if I really want to give these guys the beating of a lifetime, I'm probably going to want to be able to take one. So... I decided, you know what, I'm going to go for the whole set of steel armor. That said, since we need to wait for that to process, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you something I found when I was mining. As soon as I remember where I started mining at, there was a massive hole. Here we go. So I came down here, and I ventured down through here. Uh, as you can see, I came up through over there, but... When I was digging about, I heard a noise. Actually, I ran into that when I was digging down. And uh, I've already found myself a zombie spawner. Conveniently, in here, there's apparently ten volca volcano biome pages. Uh, these are spoils bags from Darkcraft. They contain things, but you can actually right-click on a chest with them. And get stuff to come out. Ooh. Ooh. I am quite pleased. Uh, that's part of blood magic. Not something I particularly want. I don't need ten volca volcano biome pages. Ooh. Builder's wand. Uh, nether wart and string. I'm not too interested in anything else still there. But I am going to want this. So, I'm going to mark it. Zombie spawner. And basically we're going to go back up because there should be at least 24 steel smelted now, in theory. And then we'll make ourselves some steel armor. It's, uh, I, conveniently it also updated the texture for it when I was making the Osmium one. Because the easy thing about steel is it's basically just a darker version of iron. So, it was that simple, really. Oh, wow. Good timing. Exactly enough. So, what I can do here... Well, first of all... I want to jump off... Actually, no, I want you up there. Uh, clay. Pulsating iron is good because you can use it like that, or if you turn it into nuggets, you can use the nuggets to make the regular ones. Which, the difference between them is one does stacks and has a larger filter. Uh, yeah, basically. Now, that is one of the mods that I've also altered the textures for. Uh, you know what, you can just go in there, you'll go in there. And, I don't really need that. So. Uh... I didn't think about that. It's going to be using the metallurgy textures, which means that I'm not going to get what I was after. Wah, wah. Uh, shouldn't be an issue, though. I mean, the metallurgy armor looks okay, although I would have preferred mechanism. I'm not sure if the armor they provide is 
the same, but it's a little bit too late to do anything about it, and I'm not really sure there's much I could do about it short of, well, trying to craft an automatic dictionary converter. But uh, we'll see what kind of a beating we can take now. Hey, you, the wooden swords, and the leather armor. Hey. Hey. Come here. Apparently, you can't take a beating. Why do they hit so hard? I am very confused. I am very, very confused. And I'm not sure if I can recover my armor. That's inconvenient. Well, I have a sort of a solution for this. Uh, I luckily managed to get a bow off of a skeleton. Oops. And so I have a few arrows. It's not much, but it's something. And I've been picking the berries, so I've got those. However, it seems like I'm not going to be able to attack this place. Although, I could probably cheese it. Oh no, I missed! I hit the horse. Why are you not going where I'm aiming? I don't want to be hitting the horse. Crap. <sighs> hmm. Okay. The walls of this are probably... Not you. I don't have time for one of you. Hey. What is with you people? I could probably deal with one of the melee ones. Saturate the bar. Things have not gone as planned. Things have very, very muchly not gone as planned. Whew. Not sure how I'm going to deal with this problem. Wow, they move fast. I'm not... I really shouldn't have taken all the swords. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with these people. On a side note, go away, zombie. If I, I'm gonna get railcraft steel. Not sure if that's what I want. And spits back out railcraft steel. I still get metallurgy armor. Hmm. That's a bit disappointing. Maybe... Okay, I'm going to try some osmium, partly because I have a lot of osmium, and I don't have a lot of steel. I trust you, Mechanism. I trust you to protect me. There we go. See, that's the proper look that I was going for. This osmium armor has the same general protection as that steel. Uh... Oops. I wish to know... Oh. Go back. The sword made from you. Your damage is... Seven. Osmium, what is your sword's damage? Eight. Okay, so... The mechanism Osmium provides... It, it's better than the steel from Metallurgy. Just... Kind of disappointing, but I'll take what I can get.
Okay. Uh, you. Go away. Uh. I believe I just heard a skillet. Where is the skeleton? Oh, there you are. Okay. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to use the stupid bed now and make it daytime. I'd rather not deal with the 164 swarming zombies at the same time as trying to deal with these uh, stupid chocolate craft mobs that apparently ignored my armor or something. So I took about the same number of hits when not wearing armor. Okay. You. Come hither. Hither? Why are you not doing anything? You know what? Go ahead and keep not doing anything. I'm just going to come over here and retrieve my gravestone. Coming. No. Oh, God. They also said no. Hmm. Ow. Oh, jeez. Okay, that is another dead walker. Wow, there's a lot of mobs down there. Okay, time for plan B. Partly because I want to get my stuff back. So, we have ourselves some iron. And when I was digging about at one point, get rid of you guys. When I was digging about at one point, I heard some lava. Although, yeah, this. Nothing super easy access. Now, I'm not entirely sure where this lava is. I believe I heard it when I was down in here. Underground by or underground mode on this is kind of crap. I could have swore I heard lava at some point. Huh. I do know there should be some lava down here in the depths of the abyss. That is not the right way. But this is the only major issue I've encountered so far. Navigating my way through this can be an absolute pain. Luckily, right now, I'm just trying to go down. Uh, cave mode of map writer is kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. Where was that thing of lava? I think it was over here. 
There is a lava source somewhere. Screw off. Busy. Ah, here we go. Now, because my stuff oh is contained in a gravestone, lava's not going to be an issue. I should be able to get away with pouring it on their heads. In theory. Whether or not that's going to remain true in theory, I mean... I dumped off pretty much everything of any major importance beforehand, so at least there's that. But, uh, yeah. When your weapon is not in... Well, your armor and weapons are not of a suitable requirement for the given situation. Lava bucket. Just don't pull a Zisto and dump it on yourself. Hey, scumbags. Did it not... Did it seriously not pick it up? Minecraft, why do you do these things? <sighs> Minecraft is a major troll. Oddly enough, uh, issues with picking things up at max range has been an issue ever since the range of placement and breaking was originally increased several Minecraft versions ago. It's always been really buggy, and disappointingly so. And unfortunately, mods don't play well with it either, because of how buggy the base thing is. But there should be plenty of lava over here in... Well, not in a hole. Oh, hey, an egg. Over here in the volcano biome? Whatever it's called. So much jumping. So that's the gravel ore that I don't care about from Tinker's Construct. I'm just going to leave it there because I don't care. Ash stone and ash blocks and... Give me that. Are you real? Okay, you're real. I'm not getting screwed again. And I'm wasting far, far more time than I should be, but... Kind of irritated. And even more irritated at... How stupid the uh, shield guys are. Because they just sit there and block forever. Oh good, my food bar's empty. And it's quite possibly... It, it's not technically threatening, it's just retardedly annoying. Because all they do is block. And, I mean... Yeah, I can get a hold of the shields myself, technically. But I don't think the shields are anywhere near as effective as what they have, and I can't use a weapon at the same time as the shield, unlike them. Because they, if you noticed, have a weapon and a shield out at the same time. And it's kind of stupid, really. They're disobeying the rules of the game! Let's put it this way. Though, I once watched a video, I think it was by The Escapist, where there's difficulty, and then there's fake difficulty. Fake difficulty normally results in making mobs just have more health, or, you know, what have you, you know, not making them any smarter or anything. And, you know, or, for example, making mobs that don't obey the previously stated rules of the game. For example, Dark Souls, it always follows the rules of itself. Whereas here, you get mobs that are dual-wielding and all kinds of other stupid things that you, as a player, have no way of ever hoping to do. Uh, oh, I dumped it on myself. So, it's a fake difficulty, as opposed to real difficulty, and it's annoying. 
Because they can do things that you have no hope of ever achieving. And as such, even at the cost of the potential iron or diamonds on the later ones they can drop, I'm going to burn them all to death. Are you trying to get over to me? I think he's trying to get over to me. Here, have this. This is for you. I didn't want to kill the horses. But you made me do it. Once that gets down there, starts spreading around, we should be able to deal with him in a timely manner. Ow. Okay, he's an archer. Wow, you are good. You are killing yourself. Okay, now this should be safe to grab, get all my stuff back. See that's these are the Osmium armor's better and it's actually extremely annoying. Give me that. I wanna know a lot of these Yeah, for some reason when you block with them. Do they just hit really hard or something? I don't understand. Hey. 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 This is all kinds of stupid. All kinds of stupid. Ow. I'm kind of surprised that the wool isn't burning. Maybe it's just because I'm not leaving the lava around long enough? Start. How many more is there? Are you an archer or a melee guy? And of course, there's plenty on the stairs. Hey, have that. to be a healer, and that looks to be a spearman. Hey, guess what? Lava. Ow. Rude. I hear a spider above me. Rude. 
put that banner back on there. Hmm. I may have to craft machines and one-up them soon. First, I'm going to make forward progress. I am going to slowly take over parts of this castle. Even if I have to do it by force. Why are you here? That is a curious question. Oh. Hey, is that a turtle? It's a turtle. Please be filled with arrows. Oh, so beautiful. I heard a creeper. This, my friends, is a game changer. Look at all the arrows. I can do much work with this. Hey, you on the horse. I like that horse. If you don't mind. No, I don't want to kill the horse. Crap. I bet I can't actually have that horse. I'd be willing to bet it's part of the mod. Oh, come on. Zombie. You were just wasting precious arrows. What's wrong with you? Why do these mobs hit so hard? I realize I'm in hard mode, but come on now. I can't help but feel that I might have walked into the, a different side of this than I was originally intended. But. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm just going to put this out there. That turtle is having a very bad day. See, this is what the turtle does. It'll heal 
if you don't kill it in time, I don't think. That, or it's just some kind of built-in insurance against the mob accidentally murdering itself. Ow! Rude! Fine, stay there. I want my bucket of lava back. But unfortunately, there's an army of people out here. How's that chainmail treating you? I'm not confident that I could charge him and win. He's down. Oh, that's bad. Come away from your archer friend, would you? Actually, you know what? Screw you. You made a mistake, didn't ya? Didn't ya? I'm making a big mistake right now. Oh. What happened? Did, like, pretty much the entire castle attack me? It, it looks like that might actually be the case. I'm sure this episode is probably getting on to be really long, but I was making progress. Quite a bit of it, actually. I have managed to get my foot in the door. I don't necessarily feel safe in the door, but I'm in the door. Turtle is having a bad day. There are still some dark places in here, but... Here, have this. about everybody piling into a corner. Wow, that is loud and obnoxious. This is quite possibly the laziest and cheapest way to advance. starting to get really annoying, dude.
That doesn't seem to have done anything. Is there any walkers left in here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. There's a massive cave under there filled with squid. Why is it filled with squid? Why is this light? I don't see. Ooh. 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 Well, it looks like we might get into uh, blood magic, even though I'm not generally a major fan of magic type mods, but I've redone the armor for it to match my theme. Which, by the way, I haven't really showed off. It's supposed to be a headset, bulletproof vest, boots, and then arm pads and knee pads. And ignore the osmium, it looks a bit shit. I'm not gonna lie. I did a horrible, horrible job on the osmium. Don't use it as a judge for the rest of the suit of armor. Okay, but I... What I do want to do is advance forwards and secure this area from the undead. Fortunately, this may not go quite as well as I hope. Now the second floor seemed safe-ish. FPS is going to be a bit low. Uh, this does cause quite the FPS hit. I didn't bring any more torches or wood. Whoops, wrong key. Oh, once again, wrong key. That's, uh, I don't think that's the right key. It just didn't update it first. I'm wondering how many mobs actually attack me. I'm also wondering why there's a never-ending onslaught of mobs. It must be really dark somewhere. That seems to be mostly filled with the undead and spiders. Uh, yeah, that is the undead and spiders. They'll probably despawn at some point. I'm sure they weren't actually triggered by any special things. Oh, that's a walker. Did I just get another bow? I think it tried to give me another bow? No, maybe not. What's going on there? Oh, right, that was me. I remember. So I came in, and then I was trying to go up through here, and then there is bad things up here. There still is bad things up here. Okay, this floor... Not safe. Top floor is not safe. Okay. Uh, the rest of the floors... I believe I have secured at least ample enough space to live in for the moment. There is going to be mobs. I am going to need to deal with them. Open this up. Where is the actual entrance to this? Because all I've seen so far is the holes I've created. Which I'm going to patch up. But, seriously, how do you get to this room normally? I feel like there should be a door right here. There. That's better. Is that just basically a solid set of stairs? Oh no, it's got melons and stuff under it. Okay. So I've pretty much secured the bottom floor here. I'm going to need to get more torches, light up the place some, but it should be enough space and stuff cleared out to move into it. Uh, I might... For safety's sake. Wall this off. Yeah, I'm going to wall this off till I can be 100% certain that I've made this into a livable condition. You shouldn't be able to get up there. Good, good. Oh. Uh, 
Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna go across here. So I'm gonna salvage some bricks from probably the outer walls. This probably went on for a really long time, which I apologize for. But I was engrossed in the middle of combat. And... Yeah, I'm going to move the stuff in here, secure up the door a bit, uh, wall off the back area, and label it as a danger zone, make it a bit safer to work with. Uh, some of these pillars, like for example what I did there, they're going to be losing large chunks, so that way I can properly secure this. I'm still surprised this wool didn't burn. There, that should hopefully secure me from any onslaughts from up there. gonna see if perhaps you know what first let's see if I can do something about this guy stupid turtle stop healing Stop healing. Stop it. Stop. 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 It's not stopping the healing. What do I do? I say rude, but it's not actually hitting as hard as I kind of feel like it should. And let me guess, I'm going to get you low and you're going to start healing again? No, not yet, not yet. Oh man, I care. It's dead! And it dropped diamonds! And turtle scales. Uh, I don't need dirt. So, I got two diamonds from that. I opened up the wall. Uh, yeah, this can work. Uh, I'll probably go through, s salvage any of the circuitry from there, get all the arrows out of here. Uh, nothing too dangerous should happen, so long as I don't push forwards over the course of the next, you know, little while. I'll probably make some more carpenter's doors to seal this off proper. Make some more torches. Probably put that banner back if I can find it. And, uh, we'll pick up inside of there. And, you've seen how I'm going to process things, so I'm going to process a lot of materials, and I'll probably get some machines ready going for next time. But I'm going to call this good here, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day!